and he slaughtered the Australians on the same ground in 1985 with a magnificent double century. Here he is facing Jeff Thompson. No third man, and that'll be four. So it's Thompson again to Gower. That's another good shot. Plenty of time to get onto the back foot. Placed it beautifully this time. Well, a bit unlucky. Uh, he might just have been able to pull that out for, for that uh, last minute slip from Bob Holland. That's a beautiful shot off the back foot. Thompson dropping short again and getting punished for it. Four runs from the moment it left the bat. Bob Holland has got to bowl his mixture of leg spin and top spin from the city end. And that's four runs. Dropped it short, it came off oh so slowly, turned a little bit, and uh, judging that turn, cracked it away wide of the way. That's the stroke repeated, beautiful shot. That's the front foot this time, it races away under the scoreboard there. That's going to bring up the 100. So, two superb shots from uh, David Gar brings England total onto three figures. 100 for one, and come in very good time indeed. So, Donald to Gar. It's a good uh, straight drive. Beautifully placed by Gower. So the 100 partnership comes up for the second wicket. Gower taking his score on to uh, 47 and Tim Robinson on 60. Jeff Thompson now coming on at the city end, taking over from O'Donnell. It's a cracking shot from David Gower. Didn't quite time it, as he would have wished. It got down towards the middle of the, uh, the uh, bottom of the bat. chasing that Thompson to go beautiful stroke that's one for the memory and even the bowler is clapping clapping the stroke and the century as Gower has gone on now to 101 Set short leg. <laughs> Thompson to Gower. Pretty to watch. And a nice way to bring up the thousand first class runs in 1985. Still to be Holland. He's picked that one up with the swing out towards long on. Has it cleared? Yes, after the two arms aloft, it's six runs to David Gower. Well, he's gone for another one. Crack this straight and a fine stroke for four this time. 300 goes up, Gower puts on the pressure. So left arm is the usual style of Alan Border. It's a beautiful stroke through the offside, races away for four runs.
And you see the uh, medium quick of uh, Simon O'Donnell now. And nobody need run for that one either. Six and 19 fours now, and he's not to date. Four more wanted for the 150. There's some quite incredible shots in the last uh, 20 minutes. That takes him to 150. I don't know whether you call it a cut or a drive, somewhere between the two. But it found the boundary edge, and it's 151 out of 331. Remarkably good innings. Well, that was a bad ball as Hullock comes back, short outside the off stump, crashed through the offside by Gower, and it's four again. In 37, England have gone ahead. And he's rounded off the day with an absolutely glorious extra cover drive. Couldn't see anything much better than that. One seventy-five, David Gar. Dermot comes in. Very fine deflection. No chance of anybody getting round to stop it. And the four more. Dermot begin to gower. Well, that's four. Loose delivery there from McDermott. No problem at all to the England captain. He stroked it away so nonchalantly. No doubt about that. Glorious extra cover drive from uh, David Gower. Brings him past the 200 mark. Come back for the third. David Gower goes on to 202. A magnificent innings. His best in Test match cricket. Just uh, nipping past his previous 200 here, which he made against India in 1979. Well, that was typical of Gower's timing and placement of the ball. Wonderful to watch.